Our lecture for today is about method used for HLA typing, part one. Learning objectives of this lecture are a brief introduction about human leukocyte antigen, the HLA, characteristic features of HLA, the basic rule of HLA inheritance, and the allele numbers, how an HLA allele is named, and last methods used for HLA typing. Let us take a brief introduction about human leukocyte antigens. The human leukocyte antigen genes are located within one of the most gene-rich regions of the human genome, which is called the major histocompatibility complex, MHC. On the short arm of chromosome 6, 6P21.3, Many of these genes, including human leukocyte antigen, encode proteins that have a critical role in immune responses. You can see here in the diagram that the short arm of chromosome 6 have a region of HLA genes here and it comprises classes class 2 and class class 1 and class 2 which include class 1 include a b c and class 2 dr dq dp now the differences between class 1 and class 2. Although there is there are many differences between these two classes, including in the structure, in many in distri distribution through the body, and the peptide chains, composition of antigen binding cleft, and the binding site for T cell the core sector, which T cell is will bind to this each class, the size of peptide binding cleft according to the two classes. Now the class one include the classical genes A, B, C as we mentioned in previous slide and class to include the RDQDP. The distribution of class 1 is in most present in most somatic cells, while class 2 in antigen presenting cells. The peptide chains is for class 1, a single alpha chain vary from 45 to 47 KD, non -coven covalently linked to a beta 2 microglobulin chain 12 KD. While in class 2, a single alpha chain 32 to 34 KD, non covalently linked to a single beta chain. Uh, 29 to 32 KD. Now the composition of antigen binding cleft in class 1, alpha 1 and alpha 2 domains while in class 2 as you see in the diagram alpha 1 and beta 1 domain. Class 1 bind with CD8 T cell 
through the binding to alpha 3 region, while class 2 bind with CD4 through the beta 2 region. The size of peptide binding cleft varies from class 1 and class 2. Class 1 accommodates 8 to 11 amino acid residues, while class 2 accommodates 10 to 30 amino acid residues. The characteristic features of HLA. A human leukocyte antigen, highly polygenic. That means composed of many genes, <coughs> class 1, class 2, and class 3. The main two classes are class 1 and class 2. Highly polymorphic. That means uh, they contain multiple vari variations of antigens or alleles. Pleiotropic have many functions. Distinction of self from non-self, major player in antigen presentation, initiation, and coordination of immune response. Human leukocyte antigen class 1 genes have characteristic features of polymorphism. The human leukocyte antigen class 1 genes polymorphism is located within the exome that encode the peptide binding group and the points at which T cell interact with the molecule itself. Here in the diagram, it's very clear the binding site with T cell receptors in that case. This diversity serves to ensure ongoing pathogen recognition by increasing the reserve of peptide motifs that can bound and present it to T cells. Overdominant selection is also thought to have driven the extent of polymorphism. For example, in this diagram, this diagram shows how immature thymocyte is differentiated and selected according to its binding to HLA molecule on the cells of the body. Immature thymocyte, which have T cell, for example, have two service markers CD8 plus and CD4 plus and T cell receptors. During this positive and negative selection, in positive selection of cells, cells with affinity, suitable affinity, binding affinity with Cell HLA molecule will be selected, while apoptosis to cells that do not interact with HLA molecule, it will be negatively selected and apoptosis, apoptosis occur to these cells. In second step, for the cells that shows affinity to binding with HLA molecule. Also, there is positive selection and negative selection for these cells. Positively selected cells that show suitable or low affinity to, uh, to binding with HLA of cells in, uh, of the body, and then it will proceed to differentiate into two subset um, mature CD4 plus either or mature CD8 plus T cells. While cells 
would show high affinity to receptors for self actually it will be then negatively selected and apoptosis occur to these cells. Now, uh, let us discuss something very important about basic rule in HLA inheritance. So, first of all, it's very important point that certain HLA alleles tend to occur together in the same haplotype. As we can see here in these two diagrams, the HLA alleles occur for example, here in the father and mother, each one have two haplotype. Each haplotype have many HLA alleles. And for example, here, heterozygous parent, that means the two alleles different from each other. As we it's very clear here, the alleles of HLA differ in the two haplotypes. For, for A haplotype, there is, <coughs> there, you can see here, the A is 0, 1, B40, R60, while in B haplotype, the allele differ from the first haplotype. We have A33, B44, and the R07. Also the mother, the same thing. The mother have two haplotype, uh, haplotypes and each haplotype have different HLA alleles. This is in case of heterozygous parent. In homozygous parent, we have the same haplotypes in the ma mother and the same haplotypes in the father, although each one have different haplotypes from the other, but in the same person, the same haplotypes. That means that means that the HLA allele is the same, are same in the, the two haplotype, for example, in the mother, and the same HLA alleles in the two haplotypes of the father. Now, important note that HLA heterozygosity is favored in a population because it increases the number of type motif that can be presented by the co-dominantly suppressed HLA molecule. For example, if a pathogen evade presentation by particular HLA allele, the individual is capable of initiating immune response against that pathogen by presentation of pathogen peptide by the second HLA allele. That gives chance for eradication of or the elimination of pathogen in that case. HLA alleles numbers assigned us in September 2020 HLA class 1 allele 20,597 and HLA class 2 allele 
7,073 HLA alleles. The HLA system includes the most polymorphic genes with marked differences in allele frequency between and within ethnic groups. Now, how an NHLA allele is named? It's very important to understand this in order to proceed then for HLA typing and how to read the sequence and how to make the typing of your sequence afterward. After that, sorry. Here, first, HLA prefix. That means the human leukocyte antigen. The gene is A, and there is separator between the field one, field one. That means zero two. It means the allele group, and also field separator and then field two, a specific HLA protein, and field three, used to show a synomious DNA, that means the silent DNA uh, substitution or silent mutation in this field within the coding region, coding region here, and then Field four uh, used to show differences in the non-coding region, and after that, a suffix used to denote change in the expression. It's either N, L, S, and we will mention these later. Here, for example, how we name the HLA allele in that case. That depends on the molecular method we used. For this example, each HLA allele name has a unique number of corresponding to up to four sets of digits separated by columns. The length of the allele designation depends on allele sequence. That means if the allele sequence is very long, the allele designation is the length is very long. Corresponding to that, if the sequence is very short, the allele length of the allele designation is short also. Here, for example, if we use a low resolution typing by molecular method. Only the first part appear for us here. HLA, A, separator, 0, 3. In most cases, this is equivalent to the antigen. Other columns will not appear in that case, according to this resolution. Here, if there is silent mutation, it will be like this. The species HLA locus A, the antigen equivalent 0, 3, the allele is 0, 1. So if there is silent mutation, it will be 0, 1. If it happened outside the A zone, it will be 0, 2. So the name of this, for example, here, HLA A, separator 0, 3, 0, 1, 0, 1. As we say, if there is a silent mutation, if it happened outside the A zone, it will be named like this, HLA 
A, 0, 3, 0, 1, 0, 2. All these differences is due to presence of silent mutation. Here, if we proceed in the expression modifier here, if we read this by the exon or intron, here in the A, HLA A separator 03, 01, 01, 02N. We mean here by N is a null allele, either exon or intron. Other expression modifier, so for example, it may appear, if L appear, that means there is low expression. If the S, that means secreted molecule. Q, questionable. So, when we read these alleles, for example, in case of L, low expression, HLA A separator 24020102L. If it's secreted molecule, HLA B separator 4402102S. If it's questionable, HLA-A 3211-Q. Let us discuss for more, um, more details about that to under, in order to understand what we are talking about. First, alleles whose numbers differed in the two sets of digits must differ in one or more nucleotide substitution that change the amino acid sequence of the encoded protein. Second, while alleles are, that differ only by silent or non-coding substitutions within the coding sequence distinguished by the use of third set of digits. Third, alleles that only differ by sequence polymorphism in the introns or in the 5-brem or 3-brem untranslated regions that flank nearby the exon and intron distinguished by the use of four sets of digits. In addition, as we mentioned before in the previous slide, in addition to the unique allele number, there are additional optional suffix that may be added to an allele to indicate its ex expression status as we said in the previous slide. As we mentioned, the N at the end Alleles that have been shown not to be expressed, null alleles, have been given the cervix N, and an allele that alternatively expressed may have the suffix L, low expression, secreted form, C, A, or Q. Let us explain for more details where, what are these suffix L, S, C, A, and Q. L is used to indicate an allele with her, which have low cell service expression when compared to normal level. The S here suffix is used to denote, denote an allele specifying a protein which is expressed as a soluble, secreted form molecule, but is not present on the cell surface. The C cervix is a sign to allele that produce protein that are present in the cytoplasm and not on the cell surface. A cervix indicate an apparent expression 
apparent that means fake or dull expression where there is some doubt as to whether a protein is actually expressed or not. Q suffix is used when the expression of an allele is questionable given that the mutation seen in the allele has been shown to affect normal expression level in other alleles. Now, that's how the haplotype can be written. HL, for example, this, this is a haplotype. We can read it as follow. HLA A 0101 C W 0701 B 0801 DRB 1031 DQA 1051 DQB 1201 This is the method how we read the, our haplotype. This is one haplotype only. Or some references or some method shorten the naming of the haplotype by A1 DQ2 for 738 nucleotides in length. Let us discuss the method used for HLA typing. Why we type HLA? What's the reasons for it? Purpose of that for that? HLA typing along with ABO blood type grouping is used to provide evidence for to, of tissue compatibility, of course. Typing is also used along with the blood typing and DNA test to determine the parentage, that is for parental paternity testing. Many of MHC, major histocompatibility Complex region genes are involved in the immunological processes. There are many uh, typing methods. For example, we will discuss some uh, of these methods, serological, cell, serological, cellular, MLC, and molecular. Serological method used for HLA typing, the most important method is microcytotoxicity assay with a principle of complement dependent cytotoxicity, CDC, where, whereas lymphocytes are tested with a panel of sera containing well characterized HLA specific allo antibodies. Here, as you can see here in this diagram, and Tirasaki plate is used for this method, and a complement from rabbit serum. We prepared the complement, and we prepared the T and B lymphocytes according to which type. We, which class of HLA we need to type and the result of this method lysis if there is lysis as a end result appear in the for the lymphocytes by the serum containing anti HLA B for example 27 antibodies denote the HLA B27 positive of the cells. That's mean there is 
if the antibody bind with its corresponding antigen in the presence of complement, this will lead activation of complement and will lead in the cell the membrane attacked complex and lead to slices of the lymphocyte. And in addition, by adding a specific dye, it will be it will appear enter psyche plate under microscope the lice lysis cell it will stand by specific stain. You can refer to this method in my MSC research from this reference in uh, disease markers in 1991. You can refer for more details for this method. If in, in cytotoxicity test, if we need to type HLA as I mentioned, HLA class 1 antigen, I choose T lymphocytes. If we need to type HLA class 2 antigen, we should choose B lymphocyte. This occurs by separating T from B in the fact that T cells have ability to bind and form rosette with sheep RBCs. In this method, I, uh, we should prepare sheep RBCs and use tannic acid to make their serve, the service of RBC rough in order to bind with the receptors on T cell. The mixed lymphocyte culture, MLC, is rarely being used now, originally used for class 2 typing. Its principle is lymphocytes of one donor when culture with lymphocytes of an unrelated donor they get stimulated to proliferate or become cytotoxic. Now the molecular assays. There are many molecular assays used to in HLA typing. We will mention these assays. For example, we will explain the sequence specific oligonucleotide SSO. Here, one PCR hybridization of PCR product with immobilized SSO pro. While in sequence specific primer PCR SSP, multiple PCR, and then separation of PCR product on agarose gel. In sequence based typing, PCR SPT, we have one PCR and direct sequencing of PCR product. In sequence specific oligonucleotide probes, SSOP, this method relies on local specific amplification of genomic DNA segment comprising the polymorphic sites of HLA alleles. The genomic DNA amplification, immobilization on cell support, direct hybridization with sequence specific oligonucleotide fluorochromes, linked probes, or by reverse hybridization, SSO probes immobilized on color coded microspheres and then hybridized with labeled PCR products. Here, like in this 
you can see this figure explain how the method is going on the resolution level depends on the number of probes for example from 50 to 100 probes per locus it give intermediate to higher resolution like uh, in this diagram show shows how the corresponding sequence when bind to its corresponding sequence it will give positive signals and if there is no signal that is there there is no similarity in the alignment in the sequence in that case the for example here erp1 pcr amplification with specific sequence immobilization of pcr product and adding the props by hybridization with several SSO, sso props and for example prop here prop one and prop two here as you see prop two gives positive signal because it binds to its corresponding sequence here on the PCR product. Now, HLA typing by using sequence specific primer, SSP, a combination of two primers designed for each two polymorphic sequence motifs, in allow identification of an allele or a, gr a group of alleles that are characterized by these two motifs. Here the method is rapid, ideally suit, suited for small numbers of samples, can be applied for low resolution typing at the level of digits composing the first field for it will be it will result A01 only in the first two the first field only low resolution hla a b c d r b1 dr b3 dr b4 dr b5 and dq b1 allele typing needs 300 to 400 different primer mixes that's mean 300 to 400 primer mixes only give us low resolution by this method. <coughs> the procedure relies on specificity of primer extension that is matched or mismatched with the template at its three prime ends. <coughs> For example, here, individual one and individual two The primer here for LAN 7 and primer for LAN 8. Uh, after amplification of PCR for the two individuals, the presence or absence of a PCR product it is detected by agarose gel electrophoresis. HLA specificities are assigned based on combination of bands observed in that case. Here in the individual one pattern of DRB1 0401 while in individual two pattern of DRB1 0404. Sequence based typing SPT SPT's principle is that primers will target conserved HLA sequences 
resulting in amplified product under control PCR conditions. The presence of amplified DNA fragments is a positive indication of existence of alleles and can be further identified with, via DNA sequencing. DNA sequencing is the gold standard of molecular diagnostic and can provide high resolution result for HLA typing. That means this method gives us high resolution typing for HLA. You can refer to these published papers about HLA genotyping using sequence-based typing method. I work my PhD research by this method, and uh, I work many research with my colleagues using this method in HLA typing. You can refer to these papers in order to know more details about the method used in that case. Here are the how the high resolution and which method give us lower resolution and high throw output. You can see here sequence-based typing is the best method which, is, which give us high resolution and high throw output. Now there's also another method. Anulipa HLA typing method the test principle is based on based on the reverse hybridization principle. Next generation sequencing and GS approaches have been developed within the last few years that provide allele phase and clear pairwise combinations of alleles. These technologies can reduce the cost of higher resolution typing to that of commonly used low or medium resolution methods while maintaining equivalent simplicity in methods and application. Here you can see here the NGS instrument with Dr. Herman Kreinberg. He's the head of Commerism Lab in Stem Cell Transplant Center in the University Hospital in Frankfurt, Germany. They are working a very important work in molecular and they have many research, find research in this field. Roche introduces next generation HLA typing solution for 454 sequencing system. Primer sets are designed for enabling higher resolution typing and images allele assignment, assignment in the a single run. Is, there is another method for sequencing is a single molecule real-time SMRT sequencing method. This method is able to generate long read lengths that would allow coverage of 3 kb kilobyte of more of a a HLA class 1 gene sequence and thus determine the phase of the resolving, resolving the polymorphism seen in that gene. We finished part 1.
one of this lecture and in part two we will going uh, we are going to discuss how do we align our sequence to know the type of HLA leaves also we are going to mention the tools that use alleles sequences from the IMGT HLA database, OptiType, HLA Reporter, HLA DB sequence, analysis software tools used to study HLA and disease association, Codon Express manual software. I work this this method in my uh, and a PhD research. It's very good and give a very um, uh, good results. SKDN by Bob, CLUMP, SMRT analysis tool, B201, and by HLA. Thank you very much.